Well, hello and welcome. I'm glad you're here. I've got a pretty fun one right here. We've got this right triangle with another angle in it, ADB. And the goal is to figure out what is the measure of that angle, ADB. Can you find it without using trig? So let's go ahead and try it. Do it together. Hang out. Do some math. Have some fun. Here are the details. Uh, we've got to figure out the measurement of, of angle ADB. And ang triangle ABC is a right triangle. And you can see the links posted on the screen. So A to D is 4, D to C is 6, CB is 2 root 5, and AB is 4 root 5. So if you'd like to try it on your own, go ahead and pause the video, dive in, give it a shot now, because in just a second, I'm going to share with you my game plan, and that might ruin all the fun. Are you ready? All right, here's how I'm going to tackle this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, because we can't use trig, which course if you really want to it's your thing do it right but uh, we're going to challenge ourselves to see if we can do this without any trigonometry and uh, find that angle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to construct another similar triangle inside of here where the other triangle is going to have a hypotenuse of 2 root 5 and we're going to see if we can use properties of similar triangles to figure out what this angle might be all right. So if you tried it earlier and you got stuck, go ahead and pause the video. Try it again on your own using these clues. It might be enough to get you over the hump. All right. All right. Let's do this together now, shall we? All right. So here's our triangle, ABC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct another triangle. I'm going to call this point E right here. And E to B is going to be perpendicular to A to C, making a new triangle ECB that's also a right triangle. So I'm going to say that triangle ABC and BEC are similar. And the reason I know that is because of the angle, angle, angle postulate, right? So both triangles contain angle C and they're both right triangles. So that's enough information right there because we, of course, know that the other angles have to be equal to each other, right? Because they all add up to 90. But just in case you didn't see it, those two angles are going to be the same as each other. So we've got our similar triangles. So now, uh, corresponding parts of similar triangles are sim are proportional. So let's go ahead and write a ratio of parts here from our big triangle ABC. Let's compare short leg to hypotenuse. So the short leg is 2 root 5, and the hypotenuse is 6 and 4, which makes 10. So we can simplify that by reducing by 2. So comparing the ratio of the short leg to the hypotenuse, we get 5 root 5. So that's going to be the same ratio for our other triangle, BEC. BEC is right here. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that one and take a look and see if we can use our proportion right here. So short leg over hypotenuse. Well, I don't know what the short leg is. That's E to C. But the hypotenuse is 2 root 5. So since I know this is the ratio of root 5 over 5, I can go ahead and set those things equal, multiply both sides by 2 root 5, and simplify that. Square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5, and the 5s will reduce, leaving us with the short leg is just 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the context of our original problem right there. All right, so we know E to C is 2. Now, D to C is, of course, 6. Well, since E to C is 2, that means D to E must be 4. So let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Let's see if that's going to come into play here in a little while. All right, so now let's go ahead and find this last length right here, E to B. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. We can do that because uh, triangle CEB is a right triangle. So a squared plus B squared is C squared. So EC squared plus EB squared equals BC squared. So A squared plus B squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Now the hypotenuse is 2 root 5. Uh, one of those side lengths, E to C, is 2. So we can go ahead and square those up. All right? 2 squared is 4. Uh, 2 root 5 squared is 20. Let's go ahead and subtract and solve. So EB squared is equal to 16. That means that EB must be 4. Ah, now check this out. I've got an isosceles triangle right here. DEB is an isosceles triangle because they're both sides of four. It's a right triangle, meaning that these last two angles right here must be 45 degrees, right? And since 45 degrees and angle ADB are a straight line, they form a straight line, they make 180, I can just subtract and see that 135 degrees is the measurement 
of the angle without using any trig. So I think that was a really cool problem to do just using some basic geometry. I hope you had a good time doing it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. I love hearing from you guys and engaging with you in the comments below. So if you have time and you found this to be entertaining or you had a different solution, leave me a comment. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.